Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Of course, everybody knows the big news. Oh, what, well, that was yesterday, late afternoon, was that Stephen Jobs from Apple passed away. But of course, the, the other big news is, well, you know you're on your way out when you're the president and your staff start sending out memos that you don't want anybody else to see. Well, for now, I know, isn't this a gorgeous day? Look here in Santa Monica. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. The president holds a press conference, and of course, he is the most pro-business president that w really wants to work with the Republicans. I, I know. They're trying to find out. They ask him, one of the Democrats asked him, what have you done as pro-business? Well, I've done this jobs program. I've cut taxes. I have cut, re I've cut regulations. I have put people to work. You know, and Republicans, they just want to raise taxes on uh, little people and destroy small businesses. And they're refusing to work with me. I keep holding my hand out to them and they refuse. And I'm doing, I've, my everything, my, my jobs program is full of things Republicans want. And then the, one of the Democratic mm -hmm. ones, tell us which one that they, well, it's so full of things that I can't go over them right now. Ooh, yeah. Hank Williams fired this morning from ESPN. Oh, yeah. And uh, basically, they said he has taken all of his rowdy friends with him and said... That all those rowdy redneck friends? All those rowdy rednecks that they need to do interviews on all of the NASCAR racing, you know, the football games, uh, you know, all the sports things on ESPN, which is full of those rowdy redneck types that are will no longer do business with this president or his supporters. Well, you know, I don't know if he didn't take a page from how to win friends and influence people. Well, they said that this president seems to want to insult everybody in the nation because as, the, as they went and put it out this morning very carefully, he did say John Bonyard and that, that phony golf match between John Bonyard and the president of the United States, if you listen carefully, um, Hitler came after Bonyard's name, not after um, after after the president. So it's, they're assuming the president of the United States felt it was insulting for a Muslim to be uh, thought of in the same company as a Jew. Oh, is that why it's how Muslim is Obama to compare him to Netanyahu is enough to get you fired? That's what they're saying this morning. They've totally. I, I'm looking at the fact that uh, that the president and his people walked into a redneck trap. Mm-hmm. You have to listen. Semantics is very important, and they, uh, they all these very intellectual people that have read books, they don't understand that the way you say something can get you into a lot of trouble. Ooh, even the emphasis. Yeah. Yes, even the most optimistic Wall Street reporters think something stinks with a new bull market. Well, because they know it's a bear market. A bear market goes backwards. All of a sudden, this is a bear market that's climbing on, well, there's higher than unexpected unemployment. More people have been laid off than what we thought was going to be laid off. The wild business is better than what we thought. It's worse than what it was the last time this year, and the market keeps going up. Oh, mm -hmm. and Greece is in massive turmoil. It will not make us. It will not be able to stop the default. But don't worry, Greece is going to get the money so it can default a third time and a fourth time. Yeah. But the market is roaring on all that bad news. It's a. Uh, it even defies the inverse program which they use, because. We're talking the people that are, you know, gung ho about how good this economy is. Say this is all wrong. And Greek state workers strike to cause national chaos. And our stock market rose on that. It did. Yeah, it just went. It just going off the scales on the fact that Greece is going down the drain. We're getting sun. Right? I know. You know, part of it is we're getting a little bit of sun on your face too. Oh, actually, let's see your shirt right there. Isn't that that solar shirt? I know. This is our Hollywood. Actually, this is the UV shirt. Actually, you can see where the. Your uh, jacket colors. was zi zipped yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, now it's starting to turn. Watch it. Look how fast it's yeah, turning. Yeah, it took off and zipped it entirely. So. And DNA test clear Texas man after 25 years in prison. I know. The problem was is that they didn't have these tests a quarter of a century ago. And they wouldn't have been convicted. That's how it works, folks. And woman wins $25 million in Georgia lottery after store mistake. Well, they pushed the wrong button. Okay, what happens is they offer you the chance of taking the thing or not taking it. She just said, okay, here's my buck, I'll keep it. So, what? It $25 million. Well, they pushed in the wrong numbers, and she just took she took the thing anyway, even though it was the wrong numbers, that it made her $25 million. That was a good mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, part of it, they don't tell you when you write then, don't you find out, you find out later. I found out later. No, but she took the, she took it. The ticket? She took a ticket. 
she didn't want. It was a mistake, and she took it to 125 million. Oh, that's cool. Bernanke lowers expectations for Operation Twist results. But don't worry, the stock market rose on the fact that we have lower expectations and that the economy is not going to get any better until about 214 now. And Romney warns Pakistan of consequences over the Taliban. Uh, this morning Obama said, well, we can't punish the people in Pakistan for what their government is doing. I love that. Oh, we can't? Yeah. <laughs> Which means we got to keep giving them money even though that we're... Okay, Pakistan is going to win in the world court against Obama and they're going to charge Obama with war crimes. And Japan to hold well hunts despite activist threats. Because they like to eat wells. The activists don't scare the Japanese. No. Basically, they send warships to hit their boats. Oh. And Fed on alert amid gloomy outlook officials. Okay, the, the Fed is getting ready to do, uh, you know, print more money that is worthless, folks. Totally worthless. And Fed on alert amid gloom. Oh, well, it is pretty gloomy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, actually, Wall Street ends worst quarter since 2008. And don't worry. This is going to be the best quarter in the history of this nation on the stock market. Because every day, I mean, I, uh, okay, uh, tomorrow, I love this one. Uh, Wall Street burns to the ground. Businesses lose hundreds of trillions of dollars in assets. Market climbed to 55,000 points. Mm-hmm. And Kodak denies bankruptcy plan, but shares plummet. Well, because they're, they're uh, I mean, I can guarantee you, I mean, a zillion years ago, I designed a videotape camera. I showed it to people at Kodak, and they told me there's no, there'll never be a market for anything like that. Well, you know, it also makes me think about HP. It's like, what is it? HP now is thinking of the divesting themselves of their computer business when they're number one? Yeah, and it's two-thirds of their company. When they get rid of it, they become a smaller company that no one wants to buy anything from because... Once they lose the computer business, they lose the printer business, and they lose the ink production business. And the I, did they production. forget about that part? Well, uh, they think that other, they, they actually believe that somebody else is going to pick up the company, which nobody wants. And Boeing arrest points to U.S. workplace drug problems. Yeah, but if they had union workers there, they wouldn't have that problem. That's what the whole point is. That oh, is that what it's supposed to be? Because the feds are trying to teach Boeing a lesson. And Buffett backs Bank of America buying more stocks. Yeah, even as the day Obama is going after him with a new set of laws to punish him. And Sarah Palin announces she, she won't be running for president. Because she knows that she can't win. So, well, no, because the, the left will just completely, completely chew her up. I mean, they, they, you know, this book that her husband is leaving her because she's had an affair with a black man. Yeah. I don't think so. I know. Some, sometimes things aren't too realistic. And a third person dies in California shooting gunmen still at large. No, they actually got him this morning. They I, did? My father was always amazed. He was a police officer. How no one ever surrendered to the police, and they were always shot in the back. They've oh. Always got, he, that was one of his. How did the guy get shot in the back of the head uh -huh. you know, with his handcuffs behind him? So. Uh-huh. And the, can Wall Street protests spark a broad-based movement? I don't know because the people don't even know what they're protesting over there. Well, we're protesting the fact that, well, we don't really know what we're protesting, but we got to get the rich people, of which those kids all are. Well, our we're highly unemployed. They say only 4.6, unemployment among the college kids like that is 4.6%. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. And is Christie conservative enough for the Tea Party? Yeah, he was, but he didn't want to run because he, Obama would eat him up on the fat stuff. Oh, yeah, for being, well, under tall? Yeah. Well, J.P. Morgan, B of A's, we, well, you know, here's, here's part of it is, what, Obama's going to eat him over li weight, eat him alive for being overweight, Yeah. yet they can't play the race card. Yeah, they can't play the race card, and you can't talk about how big the president's wife's rear end is. Yeah. That comes from doing, and, and she will go eat everything that she says that is not right for you to eat. And J.P. Morgan and B of A sued over mortgage debt losses. Yeah, well, they, that Obama's allowing that to happen, which is also, um, it's against the law. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. When you get old, you should know better than to let people know just how capable you are. Unfortunately, you're never that smart.